What's going on guys, welcome to episode two of this Facebook ads mini course. If you haven't seen episode one, make sure you go back and watch it. In that episode, we covered Facebook ads total value. So if you don't know what total value is, make sure you go back and watch it because it is important. In fact, it's imperative to the success of your Facebook ad campaigns. As promised in this video, we're gonna be covering the learning phase. I'm gonna be showing you how your ads deliver, why they deliver that way, and what we can do to manipulate them and the best practices to make sure we get them optimized as quickly as possible to get the best results as possible and then on thursday i'll be taking you through a facebook ads testing strategy and saturday we'll be going through a scaling strategy so if you want those videos make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those ones and with that being said let's jump straight into today's episode which is about the learning phase so we're in the meta business help center this is what facebook says this is what meta i should say says about the learning phase so each time an ad is shown our ads delivery system learns more about the best people and places to to show the ad. The more an ad is shown, the better the delivery system becomes at optimizing the ad's performance. So basically what this means is that those first couple of initial days you're running your ads, that will be the time in which they're most unstable. That will be the worst results you'll ever get because the longer they run, the more people they get delivered to, the more placements they get shown on, the faster it learns or the more data it has to then learn on where the best place is for Facebook to deliver that ad is. So if you're like probably 99% of the people who have ran Facebook ads and one day you'll get two sales, the next day get zero sales, the next day get zero sales, and then you'll see a sale again, real inconsistent results, then essentially this is the reason. And we'll be discussing how to avoid that, how to fix that later on in the video. The learning phase is the period when the delivery system still has a lot to learn about an ad set. So the learning phase is unique per ad set. So what that tells us is that ad sets optimize on an ad set level. It's not on campaign level, so it's not like all of the ad sets go into optimizing that one campaign. That isn't how it work. works. It's all the data that goes through a particular ad set goes towards optimizing that one singular ad set. During the learning phase, the delivery system is exploring the best way to deliver your ad set. So performance is less stable, which I mentioned earlier, and cost per result is usually worse. The learning phase occurs when you create a new ad or ad set or make a significant edit to an existing one. So what is a significant edit? It's really important that you know this because one of the biggest challenges you'll have as a Facebook ads marketer is knowing whether to, or if you have an ad set that's performing really well, um, and you don't want to mess it up, but you want to scale it so it brings in even more money, then you need to understand what a significant edit is so you don't run the risk of ruining a really good and profitable ad set. So every edit you make during the learning phase or after it has some effect on delivery, but not every edit causes the ad set to re-enter the learning phase. So the key word here is significant edit. Only a significant edit causes an ad set to re-enter the learning phase during the learning phase of delivery system, blah, 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 blah. The following are considered significant edits. So any change to the targeting, so if you're adding interests, removing interests, changing it from 45 plus to 35 plus, these are all significant edits, and it's gonna reset that learning phase, and essentially, the ad set is gonna be starting again from day one. So, so all that money you've spent up to that point optimizing that ad set, if you then go on to make a significant edit and resets it, is pretty much wasted, or Facebook then won't consider and use that data to optimize the ad set. So in that case, you might be better off actually duplicating it and making changes to the new ad set you've just created. Any change to ad creative will reset it. Any change to optimization event so that's instead of targeting or instead of the objective being add to cart changing it to purchase or vice versa will reset it pausing your ad set for seven days or longer the ad set re-enters the learning phase once you unpause the ad set so what this means is that you can pause your ad sets for one two three days maybe but anything seven days or longer is going to make it reset and essentially waste all that previous data that it's gathered changing bid strategy however most people probably won't get into the nitty-gritty of bid strategies when it comes to facebook so we'll ignore that a change to any of the following areas may or may not be significant depending on the magnitude of the change so this is where the gray area comes because facebook being facebook um, doesn't give you specifics so ad set spending limit amount um, they give an example down here. So if you increase your budget from $100 to $101, that's a 1% increase. It's quite a small increase. This isn't likely to cause one or more ad sets to re-enter the learning phase. However, if you change your budget from $100 to $1,000, one or more ad sets, one or more ad sets may re-enter the learning phase. They say may. 
So there's quite a big gap there that they don't really discuss. That's the gray area. They give a 1% example and they give a 1000% example. So the typical rule that I work on is anywhere around sort of 10 to 15%. Some people do 20%, which is fine. However, 10 to 15 cent percent is still a big increase when you compound it and you're making that increase every say three to four days within a month that ad set will be spending a significant amount of money even if you're starting from only 10 pounds per day okay so we know what the learning phase is we know how to avoid getting reset back into it um, how do we actually get out of it then how do we progress on from the learning phase complete the learning phase and get our ads to deliver the very best that they possibly can essentially be optimized the delivery column reads learning when an ad set is in the learning phase i read that completely wrong the delivery column reads learning when an ad set is in the learning phase while the delivery system never stops learning about the best way to deliver an ad set ad sets exit the learning phase as soon as performance stabilizes usually after around 50 optimization events since its last significant edit. So what it used to be was 50 events in a week. So you would take 50 conversions, divide it by seven days, and it would give you 7.1 or 7.2 purchases every single day you'd need to get for your ad set to optimize, but they've actually changed this to the last significant edit. When you work on a basis of somewhere between sort of, let's go on 10 pounds per purchase, let's say that's what you're achieving. That'd be really good if you could, by the way, and that's still considered quite a cheap kind of CPA cost per action or cost per purchase. So if you had, if we were working based on the old rules of needing 50 optimization events, that's basically most people watching this will be choosing purchase, then you'd need to spend 500 pounds a week just to complete that learning phase. And that's a lot of money for most people to spend just to see if an ad set's gonna work or not. So the fact they've changed it to last significant edit is a lot, lot better. And it means you can test things uh, for a lot less money, um, it's cheaper. So my advice based on this information would be to try and go pretty broad with those ad sets, because obviously if they optimize on an ad set level and each individual ad set needs 50 events for it to complete that learning phase, what you're better off doing is combining your ad sets into a little amount as possible. So rather than testing say 10 different ad sets and having to get 500 conversions, you're better off doing say two ad sets and only having to, to get to that 100 conversions because it's 50 conversions per ad set. So you can test products and test creatives, test Shopify stores um, a lot more cheaply by doing it that way. So best practices when it comes to learning phase, that initial running of an ad set. During the learning phase, ad sets are less stable and usually have a higher CPA. So if you can get your ad sets bringing in a profit, being profitable, achieving that break even um, ROAS, even during the learning phase, and that's a really good sign you've got a great ad set. To avoid behaviors that prevent ad sets from exiting the learning phase, we recommend you, number one, wait till wait to edit your ad set until it's out of the learning phase. Now, not everybody can afford to do this. Like I said, if it's costing you 20 pounds for every single purchase, you're gonna have to spend a thousand pounds to get out of that learning phase. And a thousand pounds just to test one ad set is pretty unnecessary, to be honest. So what I'm gonna show you in the next video um, in this series is how to test ad sets without having to commit those sorts of budgets. So then when you do move on to that scaling phase, which is essentially getting your ad sets out of the learning phase and performing optimally, you can get to that stage a lot quicker by spending a lot less. Avoid unnecessary edits, which we've covered. Avoid high ad volumes. So when you create many ads and ad sets, the delivery system learns less about each ad. So that's like basically what they're saying. Instead of spending a hundred pounds split between 10 ad sets and ads, spend a hundred pounds split between two because then there's more data going through each ad set and it can learn more about the delivery system can learn more about who the ideal person is the ideal placement so on and so forth and lastly use realistic budgets so if you set a very small or inflated budget the delivery system has an inaccurate indicator of the people for whom the delivery system should optimize so basically if you use super small budgets across lots of different ad sets then it's going to take a long long time for it to reach that initial 50 conversions so your ad set is going to be in that learning phase a lot longer and therefore you're going to be spending more money on less optimized ads let's finish the video let's finish the video off then by going into some data provided by facebook to see how the learning phase can affect the price of your ads so if we take a look at this this is the learning phase cpa versus out of learning phase um, cpa the one we're interested in is e-commerce whoops so we can see the 100 percent mark is in the learning phase 
and then e-commerce ads are essentially 14% cheaper on average across the broad across the board once you complete that learning phase and 14% in a business model like drop shipping is a massive difference because it's no secret that the margins um, in drop shipping can be tight as it is so optimizing your spend with covered frequent edits like targeting placements that sort of thing we can go through these tips from facebook themselves but i think i've pretty much covered them so tip one to reduce spend in the learning phase avoid editing an ad set until it's exited it and we've done that avoid having too many ad sets so i've covered that so that's rather than have 20 ad sets 10 20 ad sets try and consolidate it into like the best two or best three again i'll be showing you how to do it the most efficiently way um, to spend your money the most efficiently way possible in that testing strategy on Thursday. Tip two, try these alternatives to high ad set volume to speed up the time in the learning phase. If creating many ad sets to advertise to many small geographical areas, it's not really important to us. So optimizing your spend, there's some different options here which we can go over. So low budget, since ad sets need around 50 optimization events over a seven day period. So here you can see Facebook even themselves aren't that consistent and what their recommendation is. Here they still state that seven day period needing 50 conversions every seven days. So basically what they're trying to do is encourage people to spend more and say if you're not getting that over a seven day period then you're not spending enough money. This can be dangerous, especially for the beginner who doesn't fully understand Facebook ads. They might think they need to spend 500, 1,000 pounds in that first week to try and see some return. However, that's not the case. Low bid or cost cap, not important. Small audience size. So they don't say what a small audience size is. So it's kind of difficult to judge this, but again, I'll cover that in the testing strategy. What we'll do is essentially test a variety to make sure we have all bases covered. And so with that being said, I've covered everything I wanted to in this video. Hopefully I've given you guys a better understanding of how the delivery system works, um, how to set up your ad campaigns and how to test a bit more efficiently. I'll actually be going into a step-by-step -step strategy that you can copy and replicate for your own products, your own businesses on Thursday. So if you do want to see that video, make sure you subscribe to this video. And if you want to see more videos like this about Facebook ads or Meta ads, um, make sure you hit that like button. If I know what kind of videos you guys want to see, then I can produce more content like that finally if you still haven't started your business yet and you want some help uh, make sure you check out the free training it'll be the first link in the product description the video description i should say um, and it will show you how to launch your business in the next three weeks so make sure you check that out thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one